are you interested in sport and physical activities? Would you like to have news around the world on sport, like events, laws and policies, social, economic and environmental issues, the sport and inequalities, sport and social groups like youth, older persons, indigenous people's games, persons with disabilities, sport industry, tourism, employment, projects and initiatives, interviews and much more. Welcome to this space devoted to sport for all people of all ages and abilities. I am Daniela Bass and I have the honor to lead the United Nations Division for Inclusive Social Development in the Department of Economic and Social Affairs. The division, among other issues, is responsible to substantively promote sport as an enabler of development and peace at international level and how sport promotes the 17 goals of the 2030 Agenda and beyond. Come to visit us regularly. Contact us if you have a powerful story or news to share. Do engage with the United Nations and spread the voice. Hello. I'm Suki Hoagland. I'm currently a lecturer in the Earth Systems Program at Stanford University. And I'm gonna talk today about the relationship between athletics and climate change. So you might wonder, so what in other ways could we combine athletics and sports and climate change to make a difference? So, there's going to be a brief coming out in the link between sport and climate change, and it lays out all sorts of important background, full of examples, and it really lays out what the possibilities are for this connection, but it really boils down to athletes as role models. What can athletes do to spread this message about the importance of caring for our planet and really trying to hone in on the idea that it's everybody's responsibility. So as a child, when I was a figure skater, I never thought about the carbon footprint of maintaining an ice arena. Uh, all, all the energy that went into preserving the ice, running the water, the energy, the lights, everything that had to happen to keep the ice arena going never occurred to me about the, the environmental impact my participating in that sport had. My contribution has only started in this past year. And I'm so excited to keep going. I'm now advising a Stanford group. It's called Student Athletes for Sustainability. I have a lot of confidence that athletes can embrace the climate challenge and make a huge impact, not only just with their own federations or in their own schools, but in their conferences throughout the country. But at Stanford, of course, we have these athletes who are Olympians, they're elite athletes competing around the world. And there are so many things as scholars we can do, as athletes we can do to minimize our carbon footprint. We don't have to travel to all those conferences. So much we can do through Zoom that we learned during the pandemic. We don't have to convene in person as often. And then when you think about athletics, the athletes are gonna to need to really press their federations and say, we need to examine every piece of our enterprise. We need to look at our stadiums. We need to look at our travel. And air travel in particular has a very high carbon footprint. So if you are gonna travel by air, then the idea is maybe you can consolidate your schedules and take that flight, but instead of just for one match, one comp competition, see if you could combine it with three or four. For athletes, what I think about is, what could they do as role models? What could athletes do just by walking the walk? What if they made it clear in their public appearances, in recycling drives at stadiums, at the kind of 
um, products they use to deliver food at stadiums? Could they be of these new cornstarch materials, for example, that are completely biodegradable as opposed to single-use plastics? But so climate change is such a crisis that we're facing that athletes have to get in the game. They have to be part of the solution because the reality is down the road, much sooner than we might believe or understand that if we don't get on top of the climate crisis, there's not gonna be any snow, there's not gonna be any ice for all these winter sports. And for the summer sports, it's gonna be too hot. There are gonna be droughts. There are gonna be floods. Um, there's gonna be all this wild weather and extremes on every end that you can think of. 